Michael 2021-2022 fellows. It is 9 a.m. in the morning, cloudy and very cold in Atlanta. I write this while seated on the wheelchair in a clinic at Limby Health Center. The strong frequency of chemicals, the strong frequency of cleaning chemicals welcomes you as you enter the door. Outside the window, people are moving in and out to take advantage of so many services being offered here. The facility is right next to Limby Market. The sounds of cars, minibus callers, vendors, crying babies, and birds singing warms up the atmosphere. This is one of the highest volume sites in Blanta. This is also one of the seven facilities in Blanta I have been supporting in data management and reporting to improve linkage, viral load, to improve retention, linkage, and viral load suppression among youth living with HIV throughout the course of my fellowship. We live in the world where time moves so fast that we can possibly keep up. It feels like yesterday that I started my fellowship and I cannot believe that in the few coming days I'll be becoming an alumnus. At the beginning of my fellowship, I thought GHC was for extraordinary people with long list of achievements in the public health. The first time I applied in 2018, I fell. Instead of this discouraged me, I applied again in 2019, and this time I was accepted. Although I was excited, I was nervous too. I had thousands of questions like, how can I really contribute in a public health organization? Where will I start from? And who is going to be there to support me whenever I need the help? COVID-19 brought also challenges that the previous cohorts did not experience. The pandemic has affected organization cultures, operations, and job descriptions. For example, everything from my final interview to our new fellow orientation was facilitated online. I even started my new job remotely. Thanks to the continuous support from the JHC community and my placement organization that I was able to get acclimated in this new norm. As leaders, we must learn to be adaptable and resilient. From day one, I remained true to myself. My secret was proper planning and time management, and this has sustained me throughout the course of my fellowship. I urge new fellows to start planning today for the challenges that lie ahead. Set your goals, plan out who you want to connect with, what you want to learn, and how you want to invest in yourself. The GHC community, the GHC fellowship, is the beginning of a new leadership journey. It is also a great opportunity to advance the movement for health equity in your communities. I am very grateful to have started my public health career with this prestigious fellowship. Working with Elizabeth Glazer Pediatric AIDS Foundation was an added bonus. Now I know more about HIV and AIDS care and treatment than before, and it gives me a sense of belonging to a big team that is so passionately fighting for an AIDS-free generation. I have also grown professionally and mastered most data analytics methods and applications that I did not know before. Today, I look at my fellowship journey and I do not regret a thing. I am excited by the opportunities that lie ahead, memories that were made, and experiences that have shaped me. Not only did I receive on job training, but I overcame so many challenges and built long lasting relationship with an expensive network of fellow health equity champions. My dear leaders, I wish you all the best as you start your fellowship. Be prepared to cultivate yourself and wherever you're placed, be fruitful. To quote Isaac Newton, if I have seen far, it is by standing on the shoulders of the giants. The GHC community is made of thousands of giants with shoulders ready for you to stand on. The question is, are you ready to stand up and see far? The question is, are you ready to step up and see far? The ball is in your court. Congratulations once again. Remember, COVID-19 is real. Observe social distance, mask up, and always sanitize.